Why do you emphasize process so much at PAD specialists? Isn't patient care the priority? Great question, and this is, my answer is gonna be similar to another video I did uh, defining patient care. So I'll reiterate and sort of summarize that video, but do also watch that video. Patient care is the goal, it's here. And we absolutely prioritize patient care. So doing the evaluation and most importantly doing the procedure. Definitely patient care. However, a goal without steps to get to that goal it, it is not worth that much. Anyone can have lofty goals, but how do we get to this goal? We look upstream. And this is where the importance of process comes in. What are our processes to educate the community out there, to raise awareness of PAD, to teach providers to look for wounds and or leg pain to send to us? That's process and it's critically important because if we don't do that right, we're not gonna ever get downstream to the patient care part, the visible patient care. Process here, very important. What are our processes for our patient care coordinators to schedule our patients, for our insurance verifiers to verify their insurance? The process is here critically important because without that right, we're never gonna get downstream to the visible patient care of doing procedures. So you have the goal of patient care, but you have all these steps and processes within them and connecting them to get to this point of patient care. Any one of these done suboptimally or done wrong, and the whole process fails, and we never get to this patient care goal. So I'm on board with prioritizing patient care. My, my, my issue is, I hear this a lot in healthcare. You hear legacy healthcare providers like hospitals and things saying, prioritize patient care. But if you peel the curtain back, you'll see that a lot of processes are in disarray, or they don't exist. They don't exist. So if you don't have your processes and steps right, how are you gonna to get to an optimal goal of visible bedside patient care? You can't. So for that reason, we at PAD specialists, we acknowledge patient care is priority, but patient care doesn't exist in a vacuum. There's steps, lots of steps and processes upstream from that, and lots of steps and processes downstream from that. A lot of which don't seem like quote unquote traditional patient care, but they're all intertwined. So we treat our organization like a real business. We respect it like a business precision with processes, optimi optimization of steps, elimination of waste, optimization and maximization of speed, learning from our mistakes and applying those to subsequent iterations. All of this is critically important. If you want an optimized healthcare business, you have to run it like a business. You have to run it like other industries do, like Henry Ford's motor company, like a Toyota lean manufacturing, like Tesla, like SpaceX. Patients aren't any less important than cars or space rockets. They're arguably more important. So why wouldn't we have the same degree of precision and attention to detail on how the business is run, the operations, the processes? Why wouldn't we have the same for healthcare that we do for rocket ships and electric cars? My answer, we should, and we at PAD, PAD specialists do. That's where we're able to provide the best PAD care possible at the fastest speed at the lowest cost. Our attention on processes and steps, which lead to our ultimate goal of patient care.